Yo, 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 it's your boy AK Electro, and as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, what I got for you guys today is Battle Royale tips and tricks how to get the collection or the program done for this set of VR. Um, before we do get into the video, please don't be afraid to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. I greatly appreciate it. We're so, 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 so close to getting to 700 subscribers, and I'd really appreciate it if we did. And as well, go to the description down below and uh, check out my Twitter and Twitch where I stream daily as well as I post on my Twitter where you can catch me uh, crying over the St. Louis Cardinals probably losing on opening day. Hopefully they don't, but opening day is approaching and hopefully they win. But let's get into the review here. So what I got for you guys is some tips and tricks what you guys can do on trying to complete this program because not everybody's going to be able to get good runs. Right now, I haven't played in like eight months so i'm struggling a little bit uh i just drafted but uh i'm i'm 75 i've been grinding this so I, i've just been doing what i've noticed works and i haven't had a run over six and oh maybe like seven wins is my best but i have not gotten nine wins or 12 wins and i'm almost done anyway so there is a possibility where you don't even have to get a nine win and you can still get very very far in this program and these cards are good. Like, you're going to make 80 or so K getting all the way down here. Like, these cards right here go for a couple thousand right here. And these are duplicates. So, you can make a good amount of stubbage doing this. So, you want to do this, right? Okay. So, here are the tips and tricks. Um, basically, you're going to want to do all of these. And here's what I'm going to tell you. You want... I, after messing around with these and playing enough, I'm going to tell you what cards that you need to be using that were these uh, rewards, and my head's covering, but it's four, that are going to be the easiest. So let's for, start off first. First, you get it one point for each win. So if you get 20 wins, you're going to get 20 points. Obviously, you want to win. I can't help you not win, but not everybody's good, so I get that. You got to go 12-0. and And here's the, the other two that you have to do is these two. This is 20 points right here. 15,000. Just play games. You don't even have to win. You just got to play. And that's going to give you 15 points. And then right here, 20 home runs. I hope you can hit 20 home runs and 20 games in BR. It's all-star. Um, maybe you can't, but just try. Just play, play, play. And you're going to get both of these. That's going to be 20 stars. And granted, you're probably going to win at least five or six. So you're going to have 26 stars guaranteed just by getting these two done. Okay, the next, I'm going to tell you what players that you need to use first and why and give you backing. So, Veteran Fox. This is a Jimmy Fox. And the reason you don't want to be using this card is because it's a bronze. And you're not going to be able to really use this game card. It, um, it's going to be hard to get a hit with them. This card's low-key kind of bad. Um, so, it's not even very usable in my opinion. So, if you were to use him, he'd have to be late in your lineup. He'd be taking up first base. Which would suck because first base is a power spot in BR where you can get some glitchy cards. So I recommend not even going this. The cards that I recommend are Hoffman and Feller. And these cards are actually not bad. I recommend taking Feller. His pitch mix isn't bad for a bronze. So these two I recommend doing for the bronze. Don't even bother with these two if you want to and if you if you absolutely cannot get them. Um, I, I, I understand. But I recommend going Hoffman and Feller. And then I might have to do these if I have to, but I prefer not and going for these two first. On to the silver. Silver is a little uh, harder as well. I recommend using all these, but the first one I recommend knocking out is Melanson. He's a pitcher. He's a silver pitcher with the nasty cutter. The cutter's got a really small pinpoint area. It's I would recommend just knocking him out, and I prefer to even use him. Like Actually, after this, I get done with this program, I'm probably going to be using him in the my bullpen anyway. The card's nasty. These other three are kind of a mix-up. The problem with Castellanos is I don't like how he um he plays only third base. And third base is a power position. So once I get done with this, I'm never drafting him again. Because I don't like his swing personally. Or I like his swing. I just don't like the card that is with, with the swing. So it's, it's just not a good card for me. Guerrero, I haven't even used him yet. But he's probably third base, first base. He's another person who blocks up main spots. Third base and first base are big ass spots in BR. Just remember that. You don't want to draft bad players there because those are the spots that you get crazy amount of power out of at your gold and silver spots. Okay, next room or two. I actually haven't used this one, but I probably will be going after him after I get Cassianos. The reason being 
is he's a catcher, and there's not many catchers in the first place. There's a select few that are uh, worth the draft, like Gary. I like Danny Jansen. Um, I don't even. I can't even name a gold off the. Uh, Will Smith is really good gold, but there's just select few catchers in the first place. So he takes up a spot. You get him guaranteed. Just go with him. This one's a good one. So I would recommend possibly just forgetting about these two and just going after Real Muto and Melanson. They're going to do spots that you don't really, like you have either, you don't really use catchers and you open, you have a million spots available and Melanson is actually good. Okay, last but not least, gold. Gold, I've done every single one, but I'm going to tell you which one I think is the best. So Renfro probably is the best overall. He's nasty for BR. He has a cannon. He's got good defense. This is the card that you probably want to do first. Uh, Richard and Wood are decent pitchers. Problem with Richard is his control is kind of lacking. Um, and Wood, he doesn't have any gas. I just don't like them as personally. If I'm going for a gold pitcher, I'm going for Chapman. Uh, I'm going with the Silver Class A. I'm going with... Just there's so many other options that I'd rather go with, especially over Wood. Richard has a very good uh, speed, um, but he just doesn't. Uh, I don't. I don't think his control is very uh, worth it, in my opinion. But he's not bad. They're not bad. I obviously got him done. Um, but I would just go rim for a first, knock him out of the way, and then go from there. Obviously, at the end of the day, you have to do them. But I prefer that you do the better ones first, so you can at least win. And then last but not least, Garrick. I did him last because I thought he might not be good. And he's actually really good. Well, I wouldn't say I didn't think he would be good. It's just, here's another problem. He blocks out the first base position. And I'm going to make another video on how you should draft. And he only can play first base. So he can't move around positions. And then BR versatility is a huge ass thing. So that's why I went with him last because he can only play first base. He's drafted early in the rounds. It's just he blocks out moving my lineup around and having versatility. But that's all I have for you guys. Basically, knock all of these out. You're going to get pretty far. I just gave you guys which cards I think you should do over the other ones. And then, obviously, look at all of these. Go from here. And just win. At the bottom line, just win, and you guys will be fine. But that's all I have for you guys today on this video. If you did like the video, please drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. I greatly appreciate it. We're so close to 700, and this is your boy, A-Coach. AKA Electro out. Peace.